Hi, my name is Cheryl Sloboda from So Much Cosplay, and I'm here to make a, a gauntlet or an arm wristband, or they're even called bracers. But whatever your costume is um, going to be, there's a number of different bracers that you can make. And what we're gonna do is make a pattern that specifically fits you, and then that way you'll be able to make a bracer uh, that goes with any costume that you make. So here's what we're gonna do. You need to start by measuring your body for um, our pattern, right? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our measuring tape and we're going to measure your wrist and you're going to make a note of what that particular measurement is. Then, however deep you want your bracer to be, you're going to take that measurement. So you can make them short, you can make them long, you can also decide um, to make a decorative motif at this point, you can put that on your arm. And what you're gonna do then is take that second measurement and you're gonna go around your arm, you probably will need a friend to help you. And once you get that second measurement, you're gonna take note of that, and then we're going to actually draw that on our piece of paper. Now I will tell you, and I've learned this from experience, your right arm and your left arm are probably going to be different measurements. So if you're going to do a bracer for both arms, you're gonna to need to do measurements for both your arms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on our piece of paper, and we're going to mark our first marks, which is just taking our pencil or marker, and we're going to mark the beginning and the end on our piece of paper. Now what I'm using is this uh, hem tool because it has this gentle curve, and then what I'm gonna do is take that and I'm going to draw so that I have my first curve. So these bracers need to have that gentle curve when it goes around your arm so that it looks straight when it's on your body. Next, I'm gonna take my measurement for the second one. So let's say we're gonna make these about six inches long. And I'm just going to make a second mark here on the bottom. And then I'm going to take my second measurement and going to make a second note. And of course, I'm just gonna make sure that that's, oh, look at that, that came out perfect, six inches long. Then I'm gonna take my hem tool again. We're just curving this. And once we get to the middle, we can just move it again, mark our spots, and there we go. And I'm just gonna use this as a straight edge to make our pattern. It's that easy. So I already have this cut out from my paper. And what I've done is when I actually put this on my arm, you can see that the paper just barely touches each other. So that is a, uh, doesn't actually have any give in it so that we can actually make a flap. So to do that, we're just going to take a one side of our pattern and extend it three quarters of an inch out. And I've already done that, and this is my finished pattern. So you can see here that I've got that three quarters of an inch addition, but just onto one side, not on both sides. Okay, so once you have your paper pattern, you're ready to create your bracer. And what I'm making mine out of is this um, fusible stabilizer. Now, this is a non-woven stabilizer. What I've done is I've selected a stabilizer that is neither too thick or too thin. I don't want something that is gonna be um, too stiff so that I can't really move my arms around. I chose this one because it has like a soft flexibility to it, but I also chose this because it has a fusible on one side, which means I can fuse any fabric to this that I want. And I've already cut my pattern out, and I have that ready to be fused to a bit of this superhero fabric. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place my piece that I've already cut out of my uh, stabilizer, and I'm ready to iron it. So this takes just a couple of seconds to fuse down, and we are good to go. I like to cut my piece out of my stabilizer first and then cut out of my fabric second. Um, that way I'm not wasting additional stabilizer and fabric when I'm uh, creating my piece. So I'm just going to 
take a quick minute. We're gonna cut this out. And you get the idea here that you're just gonna trim around the entire piece. Now, this is where you can have a lot of fun decorating the other side. Now, this uh, superhero fabric can be the front, or you can choose to use that as the interior, like the inside of your bracer, and then you can do some decorative uh, techniques on the front. So you can spray paint this, you can decoupage it, you can do all sorts of different techniques to it. What I've done is I've used some heat transfer vinyl, which has got a um, like glitter function, so it's got all this super high glittery uh, cool stuff. It comes with this iron-on protective coating, so I'm just gonna peel that off. And now I have this very sparkly, bracer ready to sew on my closures. Now I can at this point do any kind of um, embellishment that I want. So I have even um, additional iron-on vinyl decorations I can put on here. Um, I can also do gems, jewels, you name it. This is where you get to have a lot of fun. So now we're ready to talk about closures. The most simple closure that you can make is a hook and loop tape closure. And because this is the version that has the additional overlap built in, I just need to make sure that my closure is going to go inside uh, the bracer in just inside that little three quarter inch flap that we created. So I'm going to go over to the machine and we're gonna sew the hook and loop tape on. Okay, now I have my machine set up with this uh, clear foot so that I can see where I'm sewing. And I have also uh, set it up so that um, my needle is in the center position. I have a um, matching thread inside here. So for all of this silver, I've chosen to use a, a gray thread. So we're just gonna go ahead get this centered under here. And all we're doing is just sewing in a little square formation around this piece of hook and loop tape. Okay. You can see it's just a couple of stitches in each direction. Just gotta remember to put your presser foot down. There we go. And we've got that all set. So now I'm just gonna raise my needle and my presser foot, and I'm going to trim that off. Now when you are putting on the second uh, piece, you want to just make sure that you have it in the right position. So I'm going to just double check that this here is where uh, the second piece should go. So the loop part of my hook and loop tape. So now I'm gonna get that under my needle. And, you know, the reason we're using the hook and loop tape that you sew on with this particular project is that the number of times that you're gonna open and close these, you're gonna want them to be sewn on so that they have just that little bit of extra security. So sewing it on versus using the sticky backed kind is going to make sure that you have something that you can open and close over and over again. Okay, so there we go. We are all set. We're just gonna trim these off. And there you go. So that's just to show you how we close that up. And what I've done on my finished piece is I've actually added the hook and loop tape in three different positions because when I wear it, um, I want the center of the bracer to not uh, bulge out. I wanna make sure that that stays closed. So we've got that additional security. So three pieces should be enough. Uh, you could also put an entire strip 
of uh, hook and loop tape all down the um, entire flap. That's another way to close it. But this is, again, where you get to have a lot of fun with embellishments, right? Because uh, whatever type of costume you're making, uh, the different closures might be more appropriate. So. We have uh, this one here with different uh, grommets. Again, the grommets come in different colors, so you get a bunch of different options there. This is the kind where, um, where you wear it, you want these to come to the very uh, center. So you would not add the additional flap for uh, bracers that you would actually uh, lace together like this one here. And there's also, all sorts of different things you can do with the fabrics that you use, so the different um, fabrics that you iron to your stabilizer. But then these types of closures are lots of fun. Um, you'll get to, these ones are sewn on, and so this one I did use the the extra flap just so that I wanted to make sure that they had additional closure. And again, I could get really creative with additional embellishments on here, and that would be even more fun. But I also wanted to show you that there's the um, edge treatments. These are not, uh, they don't have any edging on them. They don't have any um, coverings. So um, you can actually sew a trim onto them so that they have a decorative edge. This one I used all sorts of different uh, pieces of antique lace that I sewed onto the front. You can also see that the portion for the arm I've uh, done like a little gentle curve, so that's really fun. And this one is put together with snaps. So um, these don't have to be for costumes. You can just make decorative cups. They're um, really lots of fun. And again, the wide variety of costumes that you might make, you might want to make some bracers. You might have a superhero in your life that needs to have a couple of cups. And so try out making some gauntlets, bracers for your next cosplay.